From what I understand, you originally auditioned to be a performer, right? Oh yeah, they asked me to audition as, yeah. They'd see me on Conan as a stand-up. And when you got asked to write but not perform, was it this combination of um, getting my dream job and I feel let down that I wasn't a performer, or were you happy? No. It wasn't like I was happy that I wasn't a performer. It wasn't a negative thing. It was, I auditioned 100% knowing there's no way I'll get cast. Why did you think that? They were flush with male white brunettes. Uh, they had a, the best in the business. I was, I was like, I'm a stand-up, I am not, I could not do what they do, and, and I still can't. Um, and I went in thinking, I am not, I, I'm gonna do my favorite stand-up bits, some of which had kind of character -y things in them, but um, I didn't wanna like scrap it and try to write like a Gordon Ramsay impression. Right. Just to like, you know, be like, look, I can please let me on the show. Uh, I was like, I just want to be very funny for them because this will be a cool story that I got to audition for Lauren Michaels. So no expectations? Actually, tr yes, no expectations. That sounds like a lie, but uh, I just wanted to be very funny. I could not, I was like, they shouldn't cast me. They don't have, they don't have room. So <laughs> when you went up and did that, did that almost in a weird way, you think? I did Take great. the pressure off and, yeah. yeah. And everyone would say you, they didn't laugh in the room. And so you'd go, okay, they're not going to laugh. But it's a cool story, so who cares? And uh, it like went great. Like in the moment, I was like, "This is going well. This is weird." Like people were laughing in the room. Yeah, I don't mean to be a jerk. <laughs> You're not being but, a jerk. I mean, but they were laughing. We weren't there, and we want to. I be did. There. I was I like, I was there. like, I'm doing, I'm doing the stand up that I love the most. Um, it's kind of act. It's it's charactery. It it shows up. I didn't. It, it was just like I just like I want to be as funny as possible in front of Lauren Michaels. And more so, like, because, like, oh, that'll be cool, and then we'll part ways for life, you know. And, like, I, I felt like, I was like, that went well. I still won't get it, but that went well, and that was fun. And then, uh, not the next day, but the day after that, Seth Meyers called me and said, do you want to be a writer? And I was like, absolutely. I actually <laughs> went back in, oh, this is true, and it sounds fake, but it's true. <laughs> I, was in dinner, I was at dinner with my mom, because I was in Chicago. My cell phone rang. I went outside, I took it, it was Seth Meyers. He offered me the job as a writer, and he was like, just so you know, this is as a writer, not a performer. I was like, yeah, 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 of course, it shouldn't be a performer, that's great, that's, that's fantastic, yes, absolutely. I go inside, I told my mom, I just got hired as a writer at SNL, and the waitress was standing right there, and she went, that's how Conan started. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off-camera. And if you want to see the hour-long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.